This is the most riggable cube camera. Are you happy now? Listen, Blackmagic made sure that all of you complaining, including me, when they're releasing this camera, they knew they just don't have to release a simple camera. They had to release three. Do you have PL lenses? Here's your camera. Do you have EF lenses? Not just the EF, but locking EF like you complained before. So here's the EF. And now, do you have L mount lenses? You also get your own, which is good. But the question is, let's say I do have EF, which I love, and I also have PL. Does that mean I cannot have both? Well, let's talk about this. First of all, listen, as we know, Blackmagic is that one company that all us think ahead when it comes to their user. And today, they have dropped the Blackmagic Pixie, which is a cube camera with everything that you need. You do have 6K, 120 frames per second. For the first time, we also have SDI, we also have CF Express, proxy recording, live stream, time code, and the best thing that impressed me about this camera is we actually get to see 16 stops of dynamic range in this box of a camera which is very very impressive so now you can basically go and flex and say now the camera that i like it is a box and everyone will be like well what took you so long black magic but honestly we are really happy to see this camera and another thing that i do like about the black magic pixie is that you actually have a dual native ISO at 400 and at 3200, which is very, very good. And we all know how great Blackmagic camera are. And I remember when they released the full frame in the same body of the 6K, one thing that I say to myself, listen, Blackmagic, I'm not even going to talk about that camera on my channel. I'm also not going to buy it. It was very tempting because I feel like I was tired to see the same thing. And I feel like Blackmagic really did not understand what we want as consumer. I also know that it's very hard to please consumers, which we all know. But I feel like today is that day that they just decided, listen, we have had enough complaint let's give the people what they want and i feel like this camera is just a very very good option again everything that i've just mentioned about this camera usability functional functionality and price to image ratio this is a very good deal for the price and i don't even think there's anything closer to this camera you can basically say the fx series from sony but hmm they are not 6K and they maybe might be good for autofocus, but I feel like the image quality of the Blackmagic camera is something that I really, really like about them. And I know there's so much to this camera that we are going to discover and we are going to explore, but honestly, this was maybe something that I was not expecting. And one thing that I actually like about this camera is that you do have two CFast uh, or CF Express, which is very good as media because they are very, very fast. And now let's talk about the side display. I know that you know that we both know that it would have been good for Blackmagic to put that side display on top, just like the Komodo or just like the Z cam. But I also like that it is on the side it's also bigger, which means you get to see everything that you want to see in the best way that you can. And another thing that I would like to see, because like I said, consumer are very hard to please, just like in the 12K, I would love for the side screen to show what the camera is showing, which means when you rig the camera on top, the AC can also have that option just in case you want to run like a small production 
and pro focus but i really like how they do have the iso white balance and f1 f2 f3 and high frame rate record button and also they do have like a photo and you also have this jog wheel or scroll thing that you can just scroll and get to see um your camera functionality which is good and one thing that i'm actually excited about is getting sdi on this camera which is amazing and the battery option finally black magic have listened and gave us a battery that actually going to last forever which is something that i'm honestly um excited for also i can't no way to see how many companies are going to basically come up with rigs for this camera which is going to be amazing also another thing that i really love what black magic is helping us is to live stream our work with our client or basically anyone without needing to add anything at the back of the camera or also if you do have like a fast ethernet on your phone you can live stream with your camera without a problem which is fantastic and honestly i cannot wait to see um so many things from this camera and this camera is also going to change so many people perceptions about black magic because their camera are what deems like very boring or the shape was not very good and there's the biggest thing that i really love about black magic camera is basically they have improved their QC or their quality control and basically judging from the last release which is the full frame pocket camera not that many people or I didn't even see anyone complaining about what the camera is doing just like their old version were and so right now Blackmagic I commend you for improving your quality control and sending out cameras that are ready when basically user don't have to struggle or send it back or regret or just get to rant on the internet so that is something that i really really love and also one thing that i do like about the pixies is the ability to share the viewfinder with the ursa cameras which is very good and honestly i cannot wait to see more of this camera I'm going to try and get my hand on one because first I do have a very big range of full frame cam lenses that I would love to put to the test and get to yeah, use on this camera. So guys, that is all for today and we are very happy that Blackmagic have released so many products. I know there's so many things that have been released that we have to actually catch up on and the, another thing that they released that I felt like was very very impressive was something that's actually similar to this bad boy here but that is the DaVinci Resolve Replay Editor which is a very good addition to anyone that want to edit fast and get to replay their stuff and honestly like i say black magic you have made so many people's days and we can't wait to see people using these cameras